Yeah, spring training is well underway here in Clearwater, Florida. And the Phillies, they are running it back after being so close the last two years. Of course, last season, they came up five wins short. The year before that, two wins short of winning the World Series. And I'm told John Middleton, he told the Phillies in their team meeting, it is time. So take a look. The Phillies running it back, hoping third time's the charm. And many of the familiar faces, they are back. You've got Bryce Harper here, Kyle Schwarber, Trey Turner. And on the pitching side, there is Zach Wheeler at the top of the rotation. And he will once again be followed by Aaron Nola, who, of course, re-signed that big extension this offseason. So the Phillies are running it back. I think that's, that's a big thing. we got to win more games and understand that... Uh... You know, this is this is a window that we we got to win in. On good teams I've been on in the past, you kind of have that core group, and and uh, here we just we have everyone back. That's something the uh, analytic department will never figure out is the the camaraderie of a team and just just how we all fight for each other. I've been on a lot of teams, and I played baseball for 31 years old, so 28 years. And if you don't have good team chemistry, your chances of being successful is pretty close to zero. I just think we're very talented. I think these guys are motivated. They've had two years of, of tasting it, and now they want to they want to take a chunk out of it and swallow it, you know, and eat it. That has been a key theme this spring. The Phillies are hungry to get back to the World Series and this time win the whole thing. We were in a really good spot last year, and we just weren't able to get it done. And I think the positive thing, though, is that you use that fuel, that motivation, that hurt to push yourself to be even better. And, uh, you know, I think that that'll be a really common thing. You'll see guys walk around a camp with an edge and an attitude that they're going to be ready to go from, from day one and, and try to uh, get back to that spot and try to finish it off and try to finish off the next step. You know, our ownership deserves that. Our fans deserve that. Uh, Dombrowski deserves that as well, and we do too. So um, we got to go out there and play our game and uh, play Philly baseball, and you know, we'll see what happens. We have a good organization. We have a really good club. I mean, when we're here starting the season, and our goal is to win a world championship. That is our goal. To get that close, I think it hurts a little bit more. So um, I think all of us are hungry and ready to go. And um, it's going to be another long year, but we're excited. Trey Turner is also hungry to shore up his defense. He was blunt in assessing his first season as the Phillies shortstop. Brutal, obviously. Um, pretty honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it wasn't good. Now, a big emphasis for these Phillies is getting off to a better start. These last two years, they've been slow out of the gate in April and May. Well, they didn't have Bryce Harper last year. Some guys were at the WBC. But this year, everybody is here and everything is in place to get off to a faster start. Take a look. We saw that from the very beginning of spring training. Trey Turner and Bryson Stott, the Phillies infield tandem, they've been busy working. I had a chance to catch up with the Phillies second baseman for this exclusive conversation, and I asked Bryson about the Phil's decision to run it back in 2024. Yeah, it means a lot. Um, I think Topper said it. It's somebody asked if we're better this year, and um, I think he said it perfect. We have a healthy Bryce. We have Ranger. We have Taiwan. Um, all our USA guys not not playing, but just having six weeks with Trey um, on the half field and and kind of perfecting everything that we want of each other is is huge. And uh, we didn't have that last year. We didn't have Bryce for for the first little bit. So um, I think we're in a better health state. Um, and yeah, you have everybody coming back from the last two runs, and um, everybody knows what it takes to get there. And um, just got to finish the job this time.